folks, this is where you know I'm back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today. We've got the Water Boys and the Fisherman's Blues. Uh, pretty easy to play this one. I'm going to show you a, you know, a nice strumming pattern that works as well. A great song this. Uh, if you dig this one, I also did Hole in the Moon as well if you want to go and check that one out. Big fan of the Water Boys. You know, we wrote some great sort of acoustic numbers. This is one of them. So we'll get to that in a minute. And if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page. So there'll be a link to that in the comments. I'll also put a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just go over, click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you want to pledge. It's all very much appreciated. And it gives you access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 12 months. So there's quite a lot of stuff up there now. There's some exclusive videos a lot of stuff to coincide with the technique lessons you know the scales and blues stuff so what you're waiting for go over and click the link uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so if you are subscribed and you haven't done already please hit that little notification bell up somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up and you can keep up to date uh, and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media so I'm Wayne Arguitar on Facebook Twitter Instagram and now also TikTok as you always say I'm trying to get down with the kids Anyway, that's enough of me rambling without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning and you're gonna want, you know, pretty much the same four chords all the way through this. It's the same chord progression, sort of little tiny variation sort of at the end of the verse. But your first chord is a G. It's up to you what G you use. You can use a standard three finger G, you can do the four finger G. Uh, I tend to do a G with my second, third, little pinky third fret on the top E string. And what that enables me to do, just occasionally, nice little embellishment, is just adding the first finger on the first fret of the B string, you know, doing a G sus4. You know, little tiny variation, I think it just adds a little bit to the song. Uh, we want an F chord, now I do an F major 7, you could do a barred F if you want, you could do the standard F major 7, but I do an F major 7 with a C bass in, so all that would be, take a regular F major 7, move your 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, little pinky, 3rd fret on the D string, and then we're going to go to an A minor, and then we're going to go to a C. Now I also do on the C chord, what I do on the F is I add a G bass in, so same applies to that, take a regular C chord, you can just play a normal C chord on this, you don't have to, I just think it sounds a little bit meatier, so you just move your third finger to the third fret on the low E string, little pinky, would go third fret on the A string underneath, okay? So that's pretty much almost the same chord progression all the way through, so you've got two bars on the G, two bars on the F, two bars on the A minor, two bars on the C. So what we'd have is... You can see the strumming pattern I'm using there. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Would go pretty much on each chord. So what we get is a. Uh... Okay, so I'm just going to sing that through that first verse and uh, just show you how that gels in with the chords. And there's a real quick turnaround right at the end of the verse. So I'll show you how that works when we get to it. So starting off on that chord progression, we got the G. There's a quick turnaround from a G to an A minor after the F. So that last couple of lines, we've got the G. With light of my head, and you with my arms. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so then it just goes into the normal chords again, like it did in the intro. It would do exactly the same, you know, at the end of the verse on the 
uh, second verse we've got the little link which is the same uh, and at the end of the third verse it from the A minor it goes back into the C again so with love my head you with my arms whoa oh, oh. back into the regular chords again and then the coda right at the end of the song it just keeps repeating you know pretty much the same chords Light of my head. So uh, like I say, pretty much the same chord progression all the way through the song. You just got to watch for those little sort of, you know, quick turnarounds at the end of the verse and sort of in the coda there right at the end of the song. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching it. You've all dug that. I absolutely love playing that song. It's a really easy one to play, but such a, you know, a great song. And uh, I also love Hole of the Moon as well. Like I say, if you want to go and check that one out, if you're a big Water Boys fan. Now, if you've got any other requests for any other Water Boys, I've done the two obvious ones. Uh, it doesn't have to be Water Boys. It can be anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on acoustic or an electric guitar within reason. So the easiest way to put a request in is obviously comment below the video. Or if you want to find me a personal message over, through those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video I always try and reply to messages I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests so I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit you know some things work some things don't so uh, please don't be put off by that please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated another thing that's very much appreciated I'll quickly mention it again uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed if you haven't done already please hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video up so you can keep up to date uh, the patron thing sorry to keep banging on about it you want the chorus lyrics and strumming pattern to this song pretty much everything I've done over the past 12 months so there's a lot of stuff up there now uh, there's a link in the description also a link in the comments what you're waiting for go and sign up uh, if you don't want to do that I I've got a new feature and it's a, a little sort of super thanks link that's under the video though so you can click on that make a small donation again another thing that's very much appreciated all the money generally goes back into the lessons and i'm not just saying that it generally does you know it's a lot of the uh, time that goes into these lessons you know the filming the editing the research so uh, you know the money tends to to pay for me you know my time so uh, like i say it's very much appreciated another way that you could help me out i always say word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you dig what i do please like and share my videos tell your friends tell your work colleagues anyone you know plays guitar please point them in my direction i really appreciate that so that just leads me to say uh, whatever time of day it is you're watching maybe morning day night thank you very much and i'll catch you all for lesson very soon Take care.